Y'all, I can make 50 videos about food service CDL jobs alone because it's such a controversial topic in the trucking industry. I mean, you make a lot of money. It's a high paying job, but you're going to work for every single penny. It's a hard job. It's very, very labor intensive. But aside from that, there is one food service company in particular that I like to talk about. You already know which one it is. And more specifically, I'm going to talk about why their pay system is kind of a scam. What's going on, everybody? Welcome back. Welcome back. It is Taja here, and I'm back with another banger today. All right, so today's video is going to be about Gordon Food Service and their component pay system. Now, for those of you who don't know, Gordon Food Service is a food service distributor. They're based out of Grand Rapids, Michigan, and they have two divisions. They have the cell service side and the chain delivery side. Now, if you work in cell service, you are local or home daily. If you do chain delivery, you are a regional driver and you have a two-day route. For example, you will work Monday and Tuesday, you're off on Wednesday, then you do another route, which is Thursday and Friday, and you're off on weekends. So you work four days and you're off three days. That is an awesome schedule. I'm kind of jealous of chain delivery drivers, honestly. But anyways, uh, I can only speak about my experience as a sales service driver, and I can only talk about the pay for them specifically. But for the most part, Gordon Food Service pays component pay, and I only know of one uh, distribution center that pays their drivers hourly, which is the Taunton Distribution Center um, in Taunton, Massachusetts. They pay their drivers $32 to $33 an hour, if I'm not mistaken. The sources vary. Uh, yeah, so for the most part, you're paid component pay, which consists of a daily rate, cases, stops, and miles. Now, the daily rate itself depends on how long you've been with the company. Uh, so you have four driver levels. Obviously, driver one gets paid the least in terms of daily rate, and then driver four gets paid the most in terms of daily rate. So... I was only ever driver one. You had to work four months to get the driver two pay increase. But the daily rate for driver one, if I'm not mistaken, was $104 a day. I think the max you could make was $125 a day. This is all from memory. I don't really have uh, any way to verify this by Googling it. You're just going to take my word for it. I'm sorry. I did have a sheet that my supervisor gave me. But I don't know what I did with it. Hey everybody, so this is me actually editing the video. And what's crazy is that I literally just came across this while I was editing. Um, I was looking through some old papers and I actually found the sheet that my supervisor gave me while I was at Gordon Food Service. So yes, what I said was accurate. You were paid these rates um, as a food service delivery driver at Gordon Food Service. Uh, these are accurate as of 2023. Daily rate levels are also accurate um but yeah feel free to pause this take a look at it read it for yourself and yeah moving on with the rest of the video so like i said you got a daily rate you got cases stops and miles so cases paid 20 cents 21 cents a case stops paid about a dollar and 87 and then the mileage rate was 31 cents a mile and there's also um additional what's it called additional service pay or whatever and i think that was like 27 dollars an hour you also get paid if you help out with a route and that's just a flat rate of $262 a day. So in addition to the component pay, there's also a weekly minimum guarantee, which was $1,200. If you were based out of the Aberdeen Distribution Center, that was the minimum pay guarantee, provided that you work five days out the week. If you work less than five days, let's say you work four days out of the week, then it's four-fifths of $1,200. Or if you work three days, it's three-fifths of $1,200, and so on and so forth. And lastly, uh, if you worked over 40 hours a week, instead of them just paying you times and a half, because like I said, they don't do hourly pay at Gordon Food Service, unless you're based out of Taunton, Massachusetts, you will get paid uh, Chinese overtime. I think that's what I think that's what it's I think that's what it was because like when I look at my pay sub and I see overtime it's not really the same as times and a half because there'd be weeks that I work 40 hour over 40 hours and the overtime didn't really line up y you know what I mean time overtime is usually times and a half Gordon Food Service wasn't paying that now if you do work out of Taunton and you get paid times and a half out of 40 hours a week let me know down in the comments below but anyways moving on 
Component pay works if you are fast, okay? If you can complete a route between 8 and 10 hours, which is ideal, the component pay works just fine, you know? Because you can make more by working less hours. That makes sense mathematically. Now, if you're new starting out, you're not going to move as fast, obviously. You make less the more hours you work. And not to mention, you're also getting paid Chinese overtime on top of that if you work over 40 hours in the week. So I'm in the middle of editing the video. Once again, as you can see, I'm in the middle of editing the video. And there's one thing that I forgot to mention. I forgot to mention this. Component pay is also worth it if you are a chain delivery driver. Now, I'm low-key jealous of chain delivery drivers, and I wish that chain delivery was an option available in my area. I probably wouldn't have quit Gordon Food Service so soon, but I say that chain delivery is worth it when it comes to, you know, component pay because, you know, chain delivery drivers, they have more cases on their route. So they have like, what, 11, 1,200 cases, and they get two days to do the route. They get two days to do the route, and they also have less stops. In addition to that, they drive overnight, so they don't have to deal with traffic as much. They also do mostly key drops, so they don't have to deal with restaurant workers in the way. They don't have to deal with, you know, just a lot of, they don't have to deal with as much. And that's why I hated about cell service, because you have to deal with so much during the day. But yeah, if Gordon Food Service had, you know, a chain delivery driver position available in my area which is south central pa i probably would have stayed but that just wasn't the case um so in addition to that chain delivery drivers they have 50 foot trailers whereas cell service drivers they only have 28 foot or 36 foot trailers so if a chain delivery driver they have to you know dig for cases they actually have more much more room to organize as they down stack and not only that um it's just because it's chain delivery, I feel like they, a lot of the customers, they order a lot of the same stuff. So it's not as bad if they have to dig for cases. If you know, you know. I'm just going to leave it at that. But yeah, um, I don't recommend Gordon Food Service for cell service, but chain delivery, I do recommend them. They are, yeah, they're worth it if you're a chain delivery driver. The way that the routes were set up, if you were based out of the Aberdeen Distribution Center, you could make more money helping somebody else on their route than you would by yourself, working by yourself. Because like I said, if you work, you know, if you help somebody on the route, you make $262. That's just a flat rate. You make that no matter how many hours it takes you to finish the route. Minimum working five hours. I will say that. You have to work at least five and a half, five and a half hours to get to 262. Now, uh, like I said, there's a daily rate. There's cases, stops, and miles. Sometimes the route may pay either less than or equal to $262. And that's just it. You just get paid what the route pays, you know? And like I said, you only get overtime if you work over 40 hours. And like I said, it's that Chinese overtime. So like I said, we got our cases from the Aberdeen Distribution Center and we'd only get 400 to 600 cases a day. That's not a lot of cases. And you're only paid 21 cents roughly per case. That's not enough cents per case because you're touching every single one and it could be as light as a box of lettuce or it could be as heavy as, you know, 80 pound box of ribs. You just, it just varies, you know? And I feel like at least switch it because, you know, you pay 31 cents a mile, at least switch the mileage rate with the case rate. Or, in fact, maybe just bump up both of them. Just make, the, just make the component pay higher. It's not enough money. Just make it more. I need more money. Jesus. <laughs> but, on a positive note, Gordon Food Service drivers are treated the best out of the other food service companies. The culture is great. Uh, you get free food. You get free drinks. At least at my uh, drop yard, you got free food and free drinks. The supervisors there, they do show appreciation for your services. And you do feel valued as an employee. I will say that about the company. And not to mention, the benefits are the best in the industry. I mean, I was only paying $17 a week for health benefits. That is awesome. However, uh, their vacation time kind of sucks. The way it accrues, you have to wait a year to get 40 hours of vacation. Whereas at Schneider, you get two weeks of vacation after one year. 
Uh, you get three days after six months. That's really just trucking overall. I mean, most companies, you have to wait a year to get vacation. And they wonder why turnover is so high. Maybe we shouldn't have to wait so long to get time off or pay time off at least but yeah uh those are my thoughts and feelings about the component pay system at gordon food service it's not enough the drivers need to be paid more simple as that at least raise the minimum pay to eighteen hundred dollars a week and then maybe it'll be worth it but yeah what said you what is your experience in food service is the company that you're currently at paying you a lot do you think it's worth it doing that back breaking work? Let me know down in the comments down below. Like this video, share this video, follow me on social media, and I'll see you next time.